Good evening. This is All India Radio and I am Sai Ramuj Sabha with the news at 9. The headlines. Russian President Vladimir Putin arrives in New Delhi this evening to attend the 19th India-Russia annual bilateral summit. Government cuts petrol and diesel prices by 2 rupees 50 paise per liter. Several BJP ruled states also slashed fuel prices. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley says the move will not impact fiscal deficit. Sensex dips 800 points, rupee hits new low. In sports, India in a strong position in Rajkot cricket test against West Indies. Debutant Prithvi Shaw hit century and Ajay Jairam enters the men's singles quarter finals of the Chinese Taipei badminton tournament. Russian President Vladimir Putin has reached New Delhi on a two-day visit to India. External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj received Mr. Putin upon his arrival this evening. The Russian president will attend the 19th India-Russia annual bilateral summit in the national capital tomorrow. Prime Minister Narendra Modi received the visiting Russian President Putin at his official residence this evening. Welcoming Mr. Putin in a tweet, Mr. Modi said he is looking forward to the deliberations which will further enhance India-Russia friendship. Here is a report from our correspondent. Russian President Vladimir Putin will hold delegation-level talks with Prime Minister Narendra Modi tomorrow. Both the leaders will deliberate on a range of regional and global issues with a focus on further boosting the bilateral ties. After the talks, agreements are expected to be signed between the two countries. During the visit, the Russian president will interact with a group of children. Mr. Putin will have a meeting with President Ram Nath Kovind at the Rashtrapati Bhavan. The last India-Russia annual bilateral summit was held in June last year during the visit of Prime Minister Modi. Modi to Russia in May this year Mr Modi had traveled to Russian coastal city of Sochi for an informal summit with Mr Putin Sheila Air News Delhi The government has decided to cut 2 rupees and 50 paise per liter on both petrol and diesel out of this the oil marketing companies will absorb 1 rupee per liter and excise duty on petrol diesel to be cut by 1 rupee 50 paise Mr Jaitley said एक्साइज ड्यूटी हम लोग डेढ़ रूपया एक रूपया पचास पैसे कम करेंगे और जो ओ एम सीज है वो एक रूपये की कटौती अपनी प्राइसिंग में फैक्टर इन करेंगी तो केंद्र सरकार की तरफ से हम लोग ढाई रूपये तुरंत कंज्यूमर्स को इसका रिलीफ देंगे पेट्रोल और डीजल दोनों पे ढाई रूपये का रिलीफ देंगे Addressing a press conference in New Delhi today, Finance Minister Arun Jaitley said the government will write to all states to cut a portion of their tax as well on petrol and diesel. Mr. Jaitley expressed hope that the states will reduce state tax on fuel along with the center's move. Mr. Jaitley said, "I am writing to all state governments that, as far as the rate of 2 rupees is absorbed by the central government through the revenue and through the oil marketing companies." तो इक्विवेलेंट अमाउंट स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स भी अब्जॉर्व करें और मैं उम्मीद करता हूं कि कई राज्य सरकारों सभी कुछ करना चाहिए हम लोग उनसे बात भी करेंगे मुख्यमंत्रियों से कि तुरंत वो भी अपने निर्णय अनाउंस करें इस ढाई रूपये को कम करने का अपने वैट में ताकि कंज्यूमर को तुरंत ढाई रूपये केंद्र से और ढाई रूपये राज्यों से पांच रूपये की डीजल और पेट्रोल दोनों की कीमत में एक रियायत मिल सके Mr Jaitley said the center has allowed oil companies to raise 10 billion dollars through bonds. The finance minister said the prices of crude oil and domestic developments in the US have impacted the economies across the world. He said the inflation in the country is still less than 4%. However, India's domestic indicators are quite strong and stable. Mr Jaitley also said the government has cut down borrowing by 70,000 crore rupees and has allowed the oil companies to raise 10 billion dollars through bonds. Welcoming the center's move BJP president Amit Shah said that government has shown sensitivity towards people of the nation Mr Shah said main bhartiya janata party ki or se is faisle ka swagat karta hu aur pradhan mantri ji ko desh ki janta aur karodon bhartiya janata party ke karyakartao ki or se badhai dena chahta hu jinhone is faisla lekar sanvidhan sita ka parichay diya In line with the central government's decision several states including Uttar Pradesh MP Maharashtra Chhattisgarh and Assam have announced a relief of 2.5 rupees on petrol and diesel UP chief minister Yogi Adityanath announced the reduction in fuel prices this evening in a press conference at Lucknow he said the move will make both petrol and diesel cheaper by 5 rupees per liter in the state 
Assam Finance Minister Himan Biswa Sarma in a tweet said that after the rate cut by the centre and state, the price of petrol would be 81.5 rupees per litre and diesel 73.91 rupees per litre in Assam. Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Farnavis in a tweet announced that residents will get a total benefit of 5 rupees on petrol. The new prices will be effective from midnight tonight. BJP President Amit Shah has said the union government led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi has prepared a road map for the next 20 years to make Indian armed forces modern and strong. Addressing the ex-servicemen Sammelan in Sikar, Rajasthan today, Mr. Shah said by 2022, our armed forces will become one among the most modern forces across the world. He said that our Jawans are performing their duties in tough geographical terrains. <laughs> Addressing the gathering, Minister of Information and Broadcasting, Sports and Youth Affairs, Rajivardhan Rathor said, After surgical strike, India has now registered its presence among the countries which have power to take appropriate action, even by crossing the border. Applauding the role of Jawans, Mr. Rathor said, BJP today alleged that a Maha Gajbandhan or Grand Alliance of Break India Forces, including Khalistani separatists, is being formed and the Congress is a part of it. Addressing a press meet at party headquarters in New Delhi, BJP spokesperson Sambit Patra said, Pakistan is the most important component of the Mahagathbandhan along with the Congress. Mr. Patra said, Punjab ke mukhya mantri ke kehne ke babujud, Pakistan ko samarthan karte huye dikh rahe thi. Is liye hum keh rahe hai, there seems to be a Mahagathbandhan of Break India Forces in which Congress is also included. Ghar mein to Mahagathbandhan ban nahi pa raha hai. अंतरराष्ट्रीय प्लेटफॉर्म पे महागठबंधन बन रहा है ब्रेक इंडिया और टुकड़े टुकड़े गैंग का मिस्टर पात्र आल्सो हिट आउट एट आम आदमी पार्टी कन्वीनर एंड दिल्ली चीफ मिनिस्टर अरविंद केजरीवाल फॉर अलेजेडली टेकिंग सपोर्ट फ्रॉम खालिस्तानी सेपरेटिस्ट ड्यूरिंग द पंजाब असेंबली इलेक्शन दिस इज ऑल इंडिया रेडियो गिविंग यू द न्यूज फॉर क्विक न्यूज अपडेट्स फॉलो अस ऑन ट्विटर एट एआईआर न्यूज अलर्ट The India Meteorological Department today said there is a possibility of heavy to very heavy rain in Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Puducherry during the next two days. Kerala State Disaster Management Authority has issued a red alert in Iduki and Malapuram for Sunday, while yellow alert for most of the districts tomorrow. Heavy rain to be accompanied by strong winds has been forecast following depression that is likely to be formed near Sri Lanka, southeast of the Arabian Sea by tomorrow. The Executive Committee of State Disaster Management Authority met in Tiruvananthapuram today and took stock of the water level in Thames. More from our correspondent. The State Disaster Management Executive Committee, which met today, discussed the preventive steps to be taken in case of any eventuality. The meeting directed the State Water Resources Department and Electricity Board to form a regulatory framework after assessing the dam levels. Since the dams controlled by Tamil Nadu are reaching its maximum capacity, the meet decided to request Central Water Commission to intervene and give direction to Tamil Nadu to open the shutters in advance. As per prediction, the depression will intensify by Sunday and turn into cyclone by Monday. The fishermen have been advised not to venture into the sea from tomorrow to Sunday. Shamila, AIR News, Tiruvannadavaram. Meanwhile, several parts of Tamil Nadu and Puducherry witnessed intermittent rain today. Weather officials said an upper air circulation above the southwest bay over Sri Lankan and Tamil Nadu coast has brought moderate rain across the state. Under its influence, rain is expected to continue for the next two days. A report by our Chennai correspondent.
the Tamil Nadu State Disaster Management Authority has alerted all districts to brace for the new weather phenomenon in the Arabian Sea, though very heavy rain is predicted only for a narrow swath of land. Nearly 4,400 locations in the state have been identified to be vulnerable to flooding. 20,000 field workers have been mobilized by the state health department to prevent communicable diseases during any flood situations due to the prevailing pre-monsoon showers and also during the north this monsoon, which is expected to set in later this month. Jay Singh, AR News, Chennai. India today deported seven Rohingya immigrants who were staying in Assam illegally to their country of origin, Myanmar. Assam police sources said these illegal immigrants were detained in 2012 and since then lodged in Kachar Central Jail in Silchar. Talking to media in New Delhi, External Affairs Ministry spokesperson Ravish Kumar said, Assam government arranged for the repatriation of the seven individuals to Myanmar upon reconfirming their willingness to be repatriated and with the full concurrence of the Myanmar government. Earlier in the day, the Supreme Court had allowed their deportation to Myanmar, saying they were found by the competent court as illegal immigrants and have been accepted by their country of origin as their citizens. In Jammu and Kashmir, in yet another incident of ceasefire violation along the line of control, Pakistani forces today resorted to unprovoked firing in Poonch district this evening. A defense spokesperson told AIR Jammu that Pakistan army resorted to unprovoked firing targeting some Indian positions in Gulpur sector around 5 this evening. The troops guarding the borderline retaliated and exchange of fire lasted for half an hour. There is no report of any casualty or injury from the Indian side. The NDA government has significantly increased the purchase of agri-produce from farmers. In an exclusive interview to All India Radio, Minister of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare Radha Mohan Singh said, the government has significantly increased minimum support price or MSP to benefit the farmers. हमारी सरकार आने के बाद खरीदारी तेज हुआ। आंकड़े बोल रहे हैं मोदी सरकार के आने के पहले 8,40,000 करोड़ रुपए का दलहन तिलहन की खरीदारी की थी। और मोदी सरकार आने के बाद अभी अगस्त तक का आप देखेंगे तो 75 लाख मिट्टी टन की खरीदारी हुई। The complete interview can be heard on the FM Gold Channel tonight at 9:45 p.m. Indian equity benchmarks today crashed more than 2% amid falling rupee, crude prices hike, and negative global queues. Rupee fell to a new low while Brent crude oil hit $86 per barrel. A report. Sensex at the Bombay Stock Exchange fell 806 points or 2.24% to 35,169. The Nifty at the National Stock Exchange also slipped 259 points or 2.39% to 10,599. The rupee today weakened 24 paise to end at record closing low of 73 rupees. 58 paise against the US dollar. Gold prices today surged by 70 rupees to reach the 32,100 rupees per 10 gram at Delhi's bullion market. However, silver eased by 50 rupees to 39,350 rupees per kg. And Brent crude was trading around $86 per barrel in intraday trade. Paul Thottam with Sanjeev Kumar Singh for AIR News. Swachhata Hi Seva campaign has been adopted by the citizens with great enthusiasm in rural and urban areas. The campaign was launched to mark the fourth anniversary of the Swachh Bharat mission. Swachhata Hi Seva campaign was also conducted in Dahegaon of Gandhinagar district of Gujarat. Here is a ground report from our Ahmedabad correspondent. Ramesh Bhai, a resident of Degam in Gandhinagar district, is a cleaning employee. He expressed his happiness on Swastai Seva Abhyan and said that due to the cleanliness drive of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, people of Degam have now been more aware of cleanliness. This has made it easier for his cleanliness work too. परिवर्तन अच्छा है हमारे टीम उन्होंने जो अच्छा संकल्प बेड़ा उठाया है और सर्च भारत करने का मिशन जो हमारे लिए किया है क्योंकि जो कामगिरी चल रही है सर्च भारत की वो आगे बढ़े थोड़ा थोड़ा करते रहेंगे तो ज्यादा होगा अभी तक देखा जाए तो बेहतर है सभी लोग जो बाहर रोड पे कूड़ा कचरा डालते थे वो ज्यादातर बंद हो गए जैसे कोई मोहल्ला था गली थी शहरी थी वो सब सुधार आ गया है Swachh Bharat Mission has become a successful story in the world today. Bharat Devmani, EIR News, Ahmedabad. Teenage sensation Prithvi Shaw marked his test debut with a commanding 99 ball 100 against the West Indies on day one of the opening test at Rajkot today. An Indian shuttle Ajay Jairam entered the men's singles quarterfinals of the Chinese baby badminton tournament in Taiwan today. 
And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Russian President Vladimir Putin arrives in New Delhi this evening to attend the 19th India-Russia Annual Bilateral Summit. Government cuts petrol and diesel price by 2 rupees 50 paise per litre. Several BJP rule states also slash fuel prices. Sensex dips 800 points, rupee hits new low. And in sports, India in a strong position in Rajkot cricket test against West Indies. That's all in the news at 9. Good night.